Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost and I've got a fun project today that's a nice add-on for your journals. Um, how about making a pretty designer pen out of some book pages or some uh, digi kits, whatever you'd like. Uh, any kind of paper that you find attractive uh, can be uh, used to decorate a pen. So let me show you how close. Okay. No, actually, let me show you this way. Yeah. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a little rustic, a little primitive looking, but it actually feels very good in the hand, smooth, and um, it does right. Do, do, do. Okay, so what I would recommend is that you, uh, you definitely test your pen first and make sure that it writes so that, uh, you know, it is not all for naught. Um, all right, so let's make one of these, and I have a couple different pens here I wanted to try. So this clicker style, um, it has, you know, like the top button clicker. Um, this this kind of pen here, let me back up a little bit. Whoops, sorry. Also has the top clicker, and that way you don't have to deal with a cap, which is kind of nice. Um, now, then there's this kind of pen that does have the cap. It's not the right cap, it's the only one I could find. <laughs> uh, but these are easy access. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree for like a pack of 10, I think, or whatever for a dollar. So you also want to make sure that your pen writes. And, um, I thought we'd start with this one because this is a uh, one that I know everybody can probably source somewhere. Okay, so I tried a few different things and this is actually what I came up with. Um, again, not rocket science here, this is very easy. I am choosing to use Fabrifix glue. It's a clear silicone glue, um, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. It's all good. Um, and because I really want a strong hold, because if somebody's going to be holding this in their, their hand and writing it, there's going to be a lot of movement, and I just, I just wanted it to stick. But uh, it's only, you, you don't have to use that. You could use a wet white glue, um, you know, a art glitter glue or a Aliens Tacky glue or something like that. And uh, I think that would work just as well uh, for the inner strength of attaching the paper to the pen. I actually think that looks really kind of cool. I love that look actually. I don't, I'm, I'm oogling over it. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I used uh, one of my digi kits, just had some uh, writing on it and I just tore some strips and then I wrapped them around. I, I, I put glue all over the pen, then I wrapped it around and then painted the top and bottom with gold paint. And that was very, relatively easy to do no big deal um, so we can try that on this guy um, or we could use a book page and uh, I think I'm going to do well let's let's try a book page first um, okay so let's just tear some pages or some pa some uh, writing text whatever it is printing help me <laughs> um, just some thin ones oh I don't know maybe half an inch wide I don't really you could probably do them any inch wide doesn't matter have I got some writing on the back? Yeah, give me some writing. Where's the writing? I want the writing. Okay. Um, not too fat, though. I think a little thinner might be better. I think it would just look cooler, but you could, you could play with it and do it different ways. So we'll just uh, tear apart these. This has tiny writing, and I kind of played with tiny writing versus large writing. You could mix and match them. Uh, you could use magazine paper. That would look cool, too. And uh, But I got... I knocked the shine back off of this. There really wasn't shine on this one. It was from a digi kit, so it was regular copy paper. But if you had a shiny magazine paper and you didn't want shiny, I'll show you how you can knock that shine back pretty easily. Okay. Doop. All right, so that should be enough. It really doesn't take that much. Can't pick up anything now that I cut my fingernails. Um, okay. So take your pen and then just um, put some glue on it. And I think I'm just going to use... Yeah, I tried white, wet white glue first, but it didn't go that well. Oh, you're going to get messy with the glue. And you're probably going to have to do it a couple times because it dries sort of fast. But uh, have a wet wipe handy. Where's my wet wipes? Where are you? You can't have gone far. Oh, no. Oh, found you. Right in front of my face. Okay, hang on. Just put one of these puppies out because you're going to be smearing glue with your finger. Or, you know, if you don't like to do that, you can put a glove on or something. But you're still, you're going to get glue. Okay. Let me zoom in a little so you can see what's going on. Okay. So I'm just going to take this and smear this. So I have some glue over the place where I'm going to put... Yeah, see, the glue's already drying. It must be something with, uh, um, like, on plastic or something that it, uh, it 
congeals fast. All right, so you get your glue down. And once you got it down, then you start to wrap it. Oh, sorry. And uh, okay, so what I did was I went, I glue it right around where you're going to start. Um, tear off the little blank piece. And then we wrap it around the base. Go as low as you want. And um, then you want to start angling up a little bit and that's going to translate you north. And you can kind of feel with your fingers that the glue, oh, yeah, that might happen. The glue is still present. I worked with some really brittle papers earlier um, with a different, and it, it just didn't go well. So I aborted that mission and decided to carry on with uh, a little bit stronger of a paper. And I borrow some glue from here, carry on going on the angle so it does go up the pen. And if you find your glue dries, just reapply. That's all you do. Reapply. Okay. Now, um, I have an idea of something I'm going to do. Let's see. Okay. We're starting to get a little dry. I don't know why the glue dries so fast on plastic. What is that? Maybe it's just me <laughs> working slow. Um, of course my, my dispenser is a little bit thinner now, so I have less glue. So maybe that's why it's, uh, it's drying faster. Okay. And try and stay in the frame here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And we're going up. Stop wiggling. No wiggling, Missy. Don't worry if you have little pieces of paper sticking up because um, we're going to put something over top of this and that will handle all that. Okay. That tore. That's okay though. I am not phased. I am not carrying on. Okay. Just make sure it's all adhered nicely and uh, maybe a little bit more around the top. Okay. And yeah, just go like that a little bit. It's okay if it uh, overlaps itself. It's all right. Okay. Stay still, Sally. I know. Sorry. All right. Carrying on. I'm gonna finish it. Taking the Midnight Express home here. I'm gonna straighten it out. Reduce the um, pull northward and just have it go this way for a bit and then take the last piece off. Make sure you have enough glue under there. Okay. Just seal it up. All right. Um, now you could perfectly stop like this and it will be a functional pen and everything is fine. But if you want to give it more of a, a sealed finish and maybe a little bit of a decorated finish, there's other things that you can do to it. And, uh, now this original paper was pink. So I, that's how I got the pink, but I'm thinking I could get pink by grabbing my pink dauber from my distress inks and just using the leftover pink on here. Just pink it up, pink it up. Let me back up a little so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Whoop. All right. I'm going to go down. So I'm not rubbing against the grain just so that keeps everything flat. Yeah, now I've got a pink pen. Yeah, how about that? Um, you could do yeah, this with any color, you know, good old vintage photo, walnut stain, peeled paint green, um, you know, whatever you like. To show you the difference. Close up. Okay. Maybe show you, but this way better. Okay. So the different looks you get. Yeah. I think I'm a little fan of the calligraphy one. I just, I have something about handwriting, like getting in the mood of writing, right? We're going to write now. See the writing. Yep. Grab that and go writing. I really like this pen. That's really awesome. Um, <laughs> I guess stop doing that. Um, <laughs> okay. So let me back out a bit so you can see what I'm doing again. All right. Now you're going to have glue balls. Glue balls are part of the process. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, when you're cooking and you get you know, you're making cookies or something or cake and you get dough everywhere. Yeah, that's the same thing. All right. So now we have this bottom part and which is kind of uh, blue. And if you're fine with the blue, that's fine. Blue is a very nice color. But if you want to um, color it up a bit, maybe you want to add a little something. You know what I mean? You know how we are, right? And uh, this is probably not going to fit on here anymore. Okay. That won't fit there, but this will still fit sort of, sort of here. Okay. If you get too thick down here, your cap won't fit, but this cap still fits a little bit. So we got, we got some cappage. Okay. Which still works, but if you get too fat, it's not going to work. So you might have to come in with a sanding block and just thin it out a little bit near that edge. Okay. So your cap still fits. Let's see if the cap fits now. Well, sort of. 
There. Okay, now it's on. All right. So um, just kind of be aware of that. But if that's not a huge deal for you or a deal breaker. Yeah. Okay. So that w is capable. Um, but you do have to thin it out at the end a little bit just to get it to adhere. Now, here's the other deal. Uh, if you want to do the cap, you may want to color it a little bit. Okay. And what I'm using is, uh, this is Liquitex. Liquitex acrylic color basics in gold. There's the number. I do have a link for this in my Amazon store if you're looking for it, but I, you probably can get it at a lot of uh, hobby shops and stuff like that. You know, the Hobby Lobby and Michaels and that kind of thing. I just put a little doll up there. You don't need much. I was probably 10 times too much. And, uh, oh, okay. I did get a little craft paint brush, just a cheapo. And you don't even need that. I, I, honestly, initially, when I was doing this. Oh, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to just rough this up a little bit so the paint has something to grab. This is not absolutely necessary. I did not do that with this one and the paint is is fine. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to paint it on there and you could probably also use your finger. And what's going to happen, whoop, let me go closer so you can see, is it's probably going to do like what I call the thin coat first, like it's not going to give you full coverage. And, uh, but as you let this dry and then you repaint another coat on top, this coat, this layer is going to give a place for the, um, acrylic paint to grab and the second coat will grab better and you might have to do a third and a fourth, but it will cover it and it will grab, um, oops, I just covered the end of my pen. That's probably not good. Um, oh, well, we'll, we'll figure it out after. Let me just make sure it still writes. Yep, still writes. Okay, we're in business. Uh, but they're really pretty. And uh, okay, so we're just going to let that dry a little bit on the end. Okay, and now you have the ca uh, the end, the other end, and maybe you want to put a little gold on that too. Yeah, maybe you do. Okay, I'll just put a little there. And uh, I've got some paper stuck or something. Um, you make it a glue glob. It's all right though. Okay. It's okay to go over the edge a little bit. I mean, you're looking like a, uh, we're creating like a rustic weathered design. So we're allowed to do that. Yes. That's what we tell ourselves. That's what we tell ourselves. Um, but yeah, I mean, just have fun with this. This is a pen for goodness sake. It's uh, and a tiny bit of uh, acrylic paint and some book pages or, you know, torn digi kit things. Um, maybe the French manuscript one might be fun to use for this too. I'll have to look to see which one this came out of. I think it's I'm not going to even say. I'm, I'll find out for sure and I'll put the link below. Um, but uh, yeah. And then what I actually did with this one was I took what was left and I just kind of ran up and down and put a li little bit of gold flickers here and there on the pen just to make it extra purdy. I just thought it gave it a little bit of a, I don't know, a Marie Antoinette look, you know, <laughs> gilded gold something. Um, yeah, so that was kind of fun. And then, of course, you get gold all over your fingers and you rub it in and uh, you might get, it might be a little, like if you put it on thick, it might be a little lumpy. So you might have to take a little off. Okay, now it should be probably dry here. So let's take this and we'll do coat number two. So as you can see, I hope you can see, uh, coat number two grabs better than coat number one. Mm hmm mm-hmm. I don't work with acrylic that much, but this acrylic gold paint, I'm really liking. Um, now acrylic dries, when it dries, it doesn't really move that much off your, um, I'm just going to have to make sure the roller ball is still working here. Um, doesn't move. Oh, yep. Still working. All clear. Now that might get jammed if you, if you don't clear that off. So you might want to just clear it off and just double, double check every once in a while that little roller ball is working and, uh, and just go around and paint it up. And let that dry a little bit more. Probably need another coat. Probably let it dry between coats. That would be better. But as you know, oh, sorry. I am yeah, a little impatient. <laughs> I like just like to, like to do it. Okay, okay. It'll be better if I let it dry. Let it dry, Pam. Let it dry. Okay. Okay. So while I'm letting it dry, yes, that still works. Okay. Um, 
do we really need a cap in life? You know, I probably do. Okay, um, I'm not going to put that on there now, obviously, because that is um, uh, still wet. But let me just put that there. Maybe I'm going to try and no, I need to use that. So let me put that oh, there. Okay. And I'm just going to rough this up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can paint this. I don't know if I can. Let's see. I haven't tried one of these yet, but it is plastic. I'm just using a little sanding block to give the first layer of the first coat some tooth. All right. Let's see what we got. See how this goes. I haven't done this yet. All right. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to paint it. That's kind of pretty, huh? Yeah. So far, so good. Um, might take a few coats. But if you want the cap, then you could leave the cap as is, or you could just paint the cap. I'm sure there's probably some plastic paints, maybe a Rust-Oleum or something you could use too, like a spray. But uh, I've just got tons of this uh, gold paint, so I thought I might just use it up. Now, might it scratch off here if you dug it with your fingernail? Probably. But, uh, you know, these are not, um, you know, intended to be, you know, apocalypse pens that will survive anything. Um, they're just kind of fun little add-ons. And, uh, but as long as it doesn't peel off when somebody just picks it up, you know, that would be ideal. Okay, I need to let that dry and stop painting it, Pam, or else it won't dry. Okay. Um, well, let me just paint the, the end. So also, yeah, with the acrylic paint, if you le let it sit there, on your brush, it's going to harden on your brush. So you probably want to go and rinse it off. Um, oops, I'm sorry. I'm not even doing that in camera. Okay, so I have that so far. And uh, I guess I could paint this too. I should probably. But it'll be easier to hold when I when it's dry. Okay, let me just I'm gonna put you. Where am I going to put you? I'll just put you here. Okay. All right. It's probably going to come off a little bit. That's okay. All right. So now, hold on. I got to go rinse my paintbrush. All right, I grabbed a little thing of water and I'm just putting my brush in here just to release it from the acrylic paint. There, that's pretty clean. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so I can pull that out and save that so I can use that to dip. Now, um, now I want to do a finishing coat on this guy. And what I decided to use was I made some of this clear gesso from one quarter cup of white glue. Uh, well, you know what? I'll put the video on exactly how to make it below because I forget the recipe. It's like one half, one quarter, one quarter, something like that, or one quarter, one quarter. I don't want to give you the wrong thingies. But uh, basically, it's uh, baby powder, uh, white glue, and a little bit of water. And uh, when you do it in the right amounts, it makes a... Um, what I call a clear gesso, which is a, a sealant that is um, works like a glue or a Mod Podge, but it's not going to be shiny, which is kind of nice. And uh, so I'm just putting it over the the, uh, the bulk of the pen or the, the, the shaft of the pen and then almost getting to the tops. I think I'm going to repaint these a little bit um, before it completely dries. And it's okay, let's say, remember that gesso um, gives you tooth to paint or write on. So uh, if you're using it on canvas and things like that, it gives you tooth as well as seals. So um, don't worry if you go over this a little bit, it's probably still a little wet, um, that, but you can paint right back over it on top again. And you could seal it if you want again, which would be great, or just leave it as is. Okay, so we're just going to let you dry again. I'll put you there. There you go. Okay. Dry. Okay. Where's my wet nap? All right. So let's get... I'm just going to grab a pair of tweezers for um, simplicity's sake. There we go. All right. Grab this, and I'm going to continue painting this little guy. Of course, I have no paint left. <laughs> I have lots of paint left. Here's some paint. Here we go. Just my little blob. This stuff is so shiny. It's really, it's really pretty. Um, if, yeah, if you like gilding, that's the way to go. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna paint this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And it might take a few coats, like I said. I'm not gonna put any on the inside. 
Okay. Let's see if we're ready to. Can you see me? Are we still wet? Hard to tell. I'm not touching it now. It dries pretty fast, so. All right, there we go. A little more on now. All right, I don't know if this cap's gonna fit after all this stuff. Well, I'm not putting anything on the inside of the cap. It's really on the pen, did I make the base too thick? We shall see, we shall see. Time will share everything. So yes, there we go. All right. I'm gonna get the little edges and little corners. And this is probably, I, honestly, I found it did take about four or five coats. So, um, you know, be prepared for that to get full coverage. Okay, can we lose that? Okay, somewhere. I just painted that, so. All right, let me just put that here again and let that dry. And uh, I'll go back and paint that one a little bit more, but let's see. Oh, it's still wet. Okay, let me see. Still a little tacky. Are you, are you still a little wet? Let me try and put another coat on you down here. Get a little more goldage. Now we're starting to see, I'd say, some significant goldage coverage. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to be gold. You don't even have to paint this little bottom part, but I just thought it might be fun to make it look like a, a pen from yesteryear. How come everything I, I make looks like it's 100 years old? <laughs> it looks like it's been around the block, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's probably building up the thickness here, but I'm not worrying about it. No, I'm not. Because if I have to keep that pen naked with no cap, I will do it. Yeah, because it's just like a little fun thing, you know? Just a little fun doodad. Um... Yeah, there we go. I'll just paint this up a little bit more. All right, and if you want, you could put a few more goldy streaks. Let's say you want a few more. You can. It's your pen. You can do what you like with it. Mm -hmm. If I'd stop touching the white gold paint, that would be better. And you might want to test that little inker and make sure it's still rolling. Yeah, we're still rolling. Okay, that's good. All right, so let me put you over here to dry, Mr. Pen. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap this pen out because I'm going to want that, that clicker pen. Maybe I can show you where are we time wise. Oh, I don't know if I can do a whole pen in that time period. <clears throat> I will try. I'm going to give it the all paper outpost effort. Remember to cover your clear gesso. Um, just to, if I can do anything like show you the basics on how to cover a clicker pen like this. Now this one has a, a different kind of top, but I like the silver on the top, so I might leave the silver. I'm just going to glue the non-silver parts on this one. This little fancier pen. And um, there we go. Just got to that. And don't worry about this stuff. I mean, you can peel it off if you don't, um, the glue gets on the parts that you don't want to be having glued, it'll be okay because you can just roll it off. If you get in there before it totally dries, uh, you can do that. Okay, so I'm going around and I'm covering my pen with the paper. If I have enough of these torn, probably not. Um, so well prepared today, Pam. So well prepared. Okay, let's go with the writing. Yep. These pieces are starting to stick and dry. We're doing the stick and dries. Well, this is not, well, I guess it is, is it some kind of plastic, I guess. Um, all right, just moving the glue around and oh, my fingers are so gluey. We are like glued to high heaven here. Yep. Oh, what, what's that? Okay. We don't know what that is. We'll just glue it down and then we carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Keep gluing. Oh. Yeah, this paper's a little thin and a little brittle. Oh, now what do we do when we get to that part, right? These... Geesh Louise. Okay, we'll tear that off. We'll tear that off. We'll tear that off. And we'll figure out what we're going to do there. All right, we're going to grab another piece of paper because we don't have one at the ready. Hmm. Okay. Well, we need to make one. Let's make, make a few more strips because I think we're going to need a couple more strips. One. I think two ought to do it. I mean, we're literally using less than a piece of paper to do one of these. So it's very, um, you know, supply, uh, it's a supply friendly craft. And uh, 
Okay, glue has dried. Go back in here and put some more glue. Fabrifix, getting glued down. All right, now, you gotta deal with this. So I'm going under there. Okay, now what are you gonna do, Missy, when you come around? Go under again? Okay, I'll try that. Oh, it worked. Did you see that? Yep, it did. Didn't know if that was gonna happen. Okay, try it again? Again, you're gonna ask me to go under there? Oh, it's gonna tear. Well, let's see. Let's just see what happens. And we're under, oh, look at that. Okay, it's all right. Carry on, these things happen. Yep. All right, okay, where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Just want to tuck. No, oh, no, piece came off completely. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to just go ahead and glue that around. What are we going to do now? Our glue dried again. <laughs> it's so weird how fast it dries. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, here's my technique. I'm going to go through. Yeah. Then I'm going to glue like this. How about that? How about them apples? Okay, make sure you get glued down. Oh, oh that piece wasn't. Kind of, oh, look at that. It's all coming off. That's okay. We'll just take you off. We'll just take you off. Oh, I, you know what? I think you're too far away. You need to see what's going on. Okay. All right. Put you over there. Okay. Get off my finger. <laughs> okay. I think I still have enough glue. All right. Now, doing this slide through the middle technique again. It's, there's been books written about that technique. Yes. By somebody somewhere. Okay. Get rid of the white part. And going and now we gotta go underneath again how are we gonna do that i'm gonna try we're just gonna oh well oh we can lift this up how about that yeah i can just lift that up and pull it through if the paper would just stay together please yay we're staying together okay that's good we need a little more and i have this one but this is thin this is good okay and uh yep i'm through all right here we go on the angle a few extra things in here that don't need to be in here, but they got glued in anyway. Uh, okay, there you go. Go on. Can you see this? I'm getting it under there. There, got it. Okay. All right, so that thing was on an angle, but I'm just going to pretend it wasn't, and I'm just going to make it be flat at the top. There. So my pen, whoop, my pen still works very well. No encumbrances, no uh, problem with the clickeroo at the top. Everything is fine. I left the bottom silver, the top, and the stick silver, which I kind of like. Time wise, 27. Okay, so this is how you make one of these fast. You don't paint. <laughs> you just glue. And do you want to color it? Okay, let's color it. Uh, maybe we'll do blue this time, right? Because we're feeling wild and sassy. All right, here we go. Ready? This is my uh, dauber, my blue dauber. And I'm just using the leftover blue on here if some paper peels off that's okay because i'm going to seal everything down with the uh clear gesso at the end how fun is that yeah 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 yeah. all right okay and let's get the clear gesso oh look at this one i can want in like 10 seconds here so it's much easier once you do it one or two you're like oh i got this that's no big deal uh but yeah basically the clear gesso you can buy clear gesso um, I have a link for it in my Amazon store, but if you want to make your own, there's recipes online. I have a video with the recipe and I'll try and put a link to it. But basically, um, you can use different things like cornstarch and uh, white glue and water. Um, just got to get the uh, uh, ratios right because that'll make a difference. Okay, so there. So now she is sealing down. Okay, we'll just let her dry there yeah so we have two pens that are covered and I think they actually look kind of cool let me zoom in on them a little bit so you can see them but they're sort of pretty aren't they now this uh this guy here I think I should paint him some more oops sorry this guy here I, I I'm going to paint more coats on him so he's totally solid but he's not solid yet and I might run out of time before we're done so that might be a project for another day but uh yeah, there's, there's the three pens, and they're just adorable, aren't they? They're just so cute, and you could attach them to a journal. Um, here, let me wipe my fingers off. I think I have enough um, time here. I can show you how maybe you can attach one to a journal. You can make a pen pouch. You can make a pen sleeve. You can make a, a little pocket for a pen to tuck in, or you could um, tie the, your, something to the top of your pen and have it dangle from the center of the spine, and also it's always at the ready. Or you could uh, make a little uh, lasso. Um, I should probably do a video on all those different ideas. 
Um, okay, so let me see. My fingers clean? No. Um, okay, so this one, this guy's almost dry. Yeah, and let's see if it still writes. Okay, it's the big tap. Oh, sorry. Ah, yeah, stick my finger in the in the gold paint. Put that over there. Do you still write? Yes, we still write. Yay. Okay. So um, I just I think that's really cute, isn't it? Cute. Uh, I don't know honestly if that'll fit. No, it's still totally wet. Um, that's okay. Uh, it either will or it won't. But if it doesn't, I would say sand block down around here to get it to be narrower and you can always put a little bit of gold paint or a little bit more from the pink dauber uh, to cover the bottom and uh, then everything should be good and though this one is this one is dry oh, yeah. and uh, this is the original one I made it's just the clicker type and uh, that was very fun I just uh, gold tipped it very fun so if you uh, found value here please like subscribe and share Fun little add-on for your journals to play with and um, uh, favorite tools and supplies link is linked down below my Amazon store if you're looking for certain things that I use during videos or if you have any questions about supplies just let me know um, I'll try and put links in there for stuff if I forgot to do that um, my vintage digital kits are available in my Etsy shop if you're looking for those it gives you great papers to play with of old um, vintage paper and ephemera um, you can make fun things out of so many different ideas uh, check out my free newsletter you get a uh, it's emailed once a month uh, there's no charge for it you get a free digital image that you can download to your computer once a month and use at will um, you get a checklist of supplies uh, for journal junk junk journal making supplies and a note from the bookmaker um, videos uh, they come out Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Saturdays at 7 a.m. I guess I can back up a little bit um, at 7 a.m. Eastern Time, and I do podcasts also. They come out Tuesdays and Thursdays on junk journal related topics. It's all audio and it's free, and you can listen to it anywhere on the go, shopping, walking the dog, um, whatever have you, cooking. And uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having lots of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges. If there's little to no pressure there. Don't feel uh, intimidated about joining. Nobody's going to say, hey, where's your project? Don't. <laughs> it's totally at will if you want to jump in and do the projects great if you just want to observe to see what the other ideas people are coming up with with these prompts for projects just observe just lurk just hang out in the background or if you have questions about making junk journals and um uh embellishments and things like that you're welcome to post questions and because there's a huge resource and wealth of information from all the people that have joined i think we're um I think we're somewhere around 6,000 people right now. So, oh my goodness, I put my, my thing over there. Could you hear me this whole time? I don't know. Oh, I hope so. I'm sorry. Um, my microphone was way over there. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers that you could have heard all of that yabbering going on. And um, if not, I'll just re-record this video. So remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. There's no stopping us. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>